This is how to load up your drum kit, one shot sound, so as you can trigger it with your MIDI controller. MIDI controller, oh, you already know. So I can trigger it with your MIDI controller to make it easy, so as your workflow can be super nice, super effective. You understand? That's what I do, and I'm encouraging you to do the same as well. With our productions, humanize your workflow, make it nice, make it cool, make it amazing. Yeah, so follow this thing carefully right now. You understand? So you click, you know, the add new tracks channel. So we are going for the software instrument. So under the instrument right now, you know, you are following me. Don't lose me. Don't lose God. <laughs> so you go to EX24 sampler, you know, stereo. You know, I've already selected it. You can either click, you know, open library or you cannot. You understand? Your output is already there as well. So you click create. It has already created a be EXS24 sampler instrument. You understand? So, and so what you do is to double click it because right now, if you play it, it's in default, no sound. And mind you, I'll give you a gem right now. If I make that gem, you're supposed to scream, self. Most of the time, some of the bass that you hear in my song, this is what I just do drag and drop. This bass, put your headphones, is the bass. You understand? You understand it's very very nice amazing bass sound i'm telling you you click on edit you click on edit and it will bring up this you know this window and you click on zone you understand when you click on edit click on zone and you click on load multiple samples you understand so we'll be using so so load multiple samples so we'll be using the afro Banger producer pack as an example, you know, the one shot inside Afro Banger producer pack. You understand? It's simple, it's easy, it's amazing. So, for example, now I want to load all the kicks. You understand? All I need to do is just to click and highlight everything. Yeah. So I'll now come here and click add all. But if you just want to add a single sample, you know, a single one shot sound, you understand? All you gotta do is just to click add. But I want to add everything. You understand? I'll just click add all. You can see it has already loaded it up into the into the sample um, instrument. All I need to do is just to click done. Or if I want to add more, I can just go and add you know more packs. Or let me just say snares. Let me see snares. Let me see. But he has um, you know a total of files that you can actually take per add. Yes, because our keyboard is not much more than 88 keys, right? So definitely it should be 88 samples that you can add per per kit you know per sample kit or per per file so let me add this you know he added everything so how many 42 files so i need um packs let me try packs you know everything i highlighted everything i had this as well so you can see right here 88 files which means that all keyboard the longest keyboard in the life i said it the longest keyboard in the world is 88 keys. If you have seen another one for production that is more than 88, let us know. So we want Apple Logic Pro people. See, we have a keyboard that is like 110. Please increase this thing. So it's 88 files that you can add maximum. You understand? So you can click OK. So here, it will ask you that, you know, C1. Do you want to start from C1? So me, I actually like starting from... Because I want to use the full 88, you understand? Since we are adding everything. So, so this should be minus, minus C, C. Uh -huh. So, I put C minus 2, you understand? So, as that's the last, last, you know, key on the left. So, okay. So, you can see it loaded everything up. You understand so what i can do at times is even i can equally highlight all these things if i don't want to you know be pressing my octave low so as to you know go and um trigger that sound i can equally do like this and push it forward carry everything you know i can put it to c0 anyone that you like you understand see is there right now so see on my sound you see see 
because why I'm showing you this basically, you say what's the meaning of this? Because a lot of times, you know, you have heard a lot of percussions in my sound, you understand? So as to humanize it, you understand? And you cannot always quantize those kind of percussions. You know African music, the way we move, the way we groove, you cannot really computerize it, you understand? When you are doing... Oh? Oh? You understand? You understand? You might not really be able to be clicking it properly because most of the time the percussions, my own percussions, doesn't usually be on the snap. You understand? Because it's going to sound computer. Kugum, tudum. It's supposed to be tudum, tudum. You understand? You understand? With the. Almost supposed to know all these things now. Are you not an African? Are you not a friend of an African? Or you don't know Africa? You understand? We groove, we move, we shake our body. So. You now come to edit. I'm sorry. You you go, go to instrument and you click on save. So what do you want to save? You know the old samplers. Um, you can just save it as. Let me save it as. Um, Afro dance. Afro dance kit. You understand? Just as an example. You understand? So I saved it. So it's there. So I have some couple of things there so sometimes you can actually you know separate everything that they would you can actually separate everything like you know for example this one shot you can do clap separately or you can actually do afro banger folder and inside that you have the claps the stuff you know let me not talk too much let us just do it the way i'm talking right now so as not to waste too much of our time so you come here now you know you go back to load multiple instruments we go to you know our desktop that's where the sound is the one shot so kicks so let me start with claps okay claps so i just want to load it exactly the same way as in the afro banga preserve pack you understand everything arranged and neat so that anytime i want my clap i know where to go anytime i want my kick my snare you understand i don't mix them up so you know add all so done those are my claps so you can leave it at C1, you know, they are not a lot. C1 is the last note that the sample starts from. C1 is the middle C. Somewhere here, sir. You can see. Where is it? Okay. Oh, where is C1? Okay, it's this C1. So I want to save. I'll save it. So I can create a folder. Afro Banga um, Afro Banga one shot one shot so that you don't you know so this is the claps I'll save it as claps or clap clap or claps you understand so claps so when you come to your EX24 folder here you know on the library window you can see Afro Banga Parisa one shot so we have the clap in the folder so we can go again you understand um open a new one um same thing come there um so zone as well you know load multiple samples so desktop you go to your where the files are i just save it on the desktop so that it can be easy to reach this is symbols and crashes so I had everything as well. You understand? Done. Okay. Can see. Quality samples. Afro Banga is mad though, guys. If you have not yet got your copy or get your copy, then go and download your copy right now. It's the holy grail. You understand? It's the magic source to Afro beat music productions. Oh, I say so. So this is symbols and crashes. So you save it the same way as well symbols and crashes you understand save you understand so you can see that you know if you come here afro banga one shot you understand you everything can be listed so you'll be able to go and you can press clap you can click um symbols you understand so it's easy for you to trigger all this time compared to if you want to load everything up you understand if you want to load the same if you want to load it that way that you just copy everything inside one you don't mind just say okay afro banga you understand one shot sound part one part two you understand but if you want to be more organized you understand 
which I actually advise to, you understand? If you want to be more organized, it's very advisable to just, you know, load up the samples like this. You know your claps and all your snares and, you know, everything is just arranged so you know where to go whenever you are searching for something. And it's always nice as well though you can just, you know, search it out in the search bar here because you have already named them. You get claps, you just click it, claps, you understand? In the Afro Banga Producer Pack. If you have different kind of claps or different packs, different claps, you understand? You label them as well so that you know what to go for because this thing can actually speed up your workflow. Unlike, you know, like I said about the preset, you know, sounds, have your preset sound saved. There should be days that you just, you know, dedicate that day into sound selection, sound hunting. I call them hunting for sound. I'll just be saving those things down as presets. You understand? Now, uh, as, um, yes, those things as a patch or I uh, favorite those preset sounds. You understand? Maybe pluck sound, saxophone, all these things. I'll go through all those, you know, like community spare, like contact and all those things. I'll be saving them down. So there'll be a day I'll be producing. I'll just, I don't need to think too much. I know, oh, okay, I've already checked this sound out. Oh, you understand? I can just go there and load up the preset. You get same thing applies to this. So you are familiar with every, uh, you are familiar with the place that you saved your stuff. So it will definitely going to speed up your workflow. You don't have time to waste now. This music thing. The more time you waste, the more ginger you are losing. You already know. So what production? I want to make it fast. I want to make it cool. I want to make it nice. Please, guys, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is very very important because more subscriber means more boosted boostation more boost but well, that's what i mean